our rental industry summary and recommendation. So here's our consulting team. First we have Sloan Decker, I'm the regional manager. Yuan Yuan Li, I'm the international trend analyst. Rachel Robb, I'm the data and market analyst. And finally, I'm Courtney Moore, the financial advisor. So for this project, a critical issue is branding for the car rental industry, as well as entering a foreign market and the issues that might occur with that. First, we want to look at our major companies within the car rental industry. We have Enterprise Rent-A-Car Company. They hold 32.1% of the market share. And their brand names are Alamo Rent-A-Car, National Car Rental, and Enterprise Rent-A-Car. Then we have Hertz Global Holdings uh, Incorporated. Their market share is 15.0%, and their brand, name, brand names are Hertz, Dollar, and Thrifty. Last but not least, for our major companies, we have Avis Budget Group Incorporated. Their market share is 12.2%, and their brand names include Avis and Budget. With the figure down below, you can see the layout of the market share, and as you can see, the major companies do hold over 50% of the market share. Then we have market size and growth. The estimated worth is $27.2 billion dollars as of 2015 for the car rental industry and from the figure to your right you can see that our expected growth is 26 percent about 34.2 billion dollars by 2020. So as she just said, currently the U.S. market shows steady growth. As of the end of 2015, it was worth an estimated $27.2 billion. This is up 32% since 2010. But will this growth continue? Experts say yes. Due to recently low gas prices, people are more likely to rent cars. This has also led to an increased number of Americans traveling longer distances. And also, the number of zero-car households has increased as well, leaving them to rely on rental services for transportation. But what will sustain this growth? Most likely, an increase in airline demand will sustain growth into the future. The number of domestic trips inside the U.S. for both business and leisure have increased in recent years as well. And the per capita disposable income has increased recently, so in turn, leisure trips and car rentals will be increasing. To reiterate, to have success in the American market, it's important to form partnerships with airlines and hotels, offering deals to customers who utilize both. Due to high gas prices in recent years, Consumers have greater appreciation for new and more fuel-efficient vehicles, so it's also important to make use of these in the business plan. And fi finally, perhaps most important to the issue that we're discussing today, it's important to establish a brand name, one that consumers trust and will in turn frequent in the future. So for the barriers to entry and operation conditions, we have the level of con the competition within the industry is high, the level of concentration is high, the stage of industry life cycle is mature, the level of capital intensity is high, the level of technology change is medium, the level of regu regulation is medium and the trend is steady, and the level of industry assistance is low and the trend is steady too. And we will analyze this more depth in our recommendations. And here's a chart for major market segmentation, and there are two sections of car rental markets, which are airport and off-airport markets. The majority of industry revenue is generated through car rentals at airports, as both uh, business and leisure travelers are most likely to rent a car at an airport because of its convenience. Off-airport markets represent an important and growing source of revenue for the car rental industry. As you can see, more than half of American customers rent cars for leisurely purposes. Following behind that are business car rentals. And finally, car leasing and car sharing make up less than a quarter of business, so these services are not a main focus but should not be ignored completely. And as you can see, only 2% of services available are car sharing, but recently it was found that 36% of new car renters are more interested in car sharing companies like Zipcar and GetAround. Okay, so while doing research on company branding, one of the main factors that we have found information on is how sales volume is affected by branding and vice versa. 
The relationship between the consumer and the product branding is so important because the strength of the relationship will reflect the customer's needs. A brand with several different attributes is preferred because it can be related and identified with multiple consumer preferences. Also, we have discovered that it is essential for a company to make the trade-off between balancing the trust of the existing brand image and the target market's preferences that are being identified. Also in doing industry research, we have also found helpful information with specific experiences that can be related to the car rental industry. In 2010, Hertz conducted a reformation of their branding to give the company a new image. They added marketing and advertising campaigns, remodeled company locations and employee uniforms, and focused on different aspects of consumer interest, like emotional connections, all in order to create a stronger relationship with their customers. We also found that other companies in the transportation industry have found success through branding. Rolls-Royce, a luxury car manufacturer, has always been successful. But since 2009, the company has more than quadrupled its sales. Heads at the company completely attribute this success to promoting the exclusivity of their vehicles catering and catering to the values of their desired consumer demographic. Knowing this, one may be able to use this information to find success in the car rental industry by styling the business with your desired trademarks. So finally, we have a recommendation. There are some pros and cons to entering the car re rental industry market within the United States. Our pros are that the industry is expected to increase in its growth in the next five years. It is a large market, and our products and abilities are expected to increase with the technology increases. There are some cons. We do have a high company concentration. Uh, as I said before, uh, the major companies do make up over 50% of the market share. There is a high capital intensity mar uh, for the market. This means that it's very expensive to get started and bring everything you need to actually um, produce things within the market. And then we also have moderate regulations and government policies. Since Mr. Alderson um, is not from the United States, entering into the United States uh, industry and market might cause some complications just because we do not have the same regulations and government policies. In the end, we do recommend uh, that he should invest in a branch with, for his company within the United States due to the positive growth projections and the product innovations. Thank you.